Hello and welcome to the physical publishing video tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to produce your CD using kunaki.com. Kunaki is a free site provided for free which specializes in print-on-demand CDs and DVDs for audio, video, ebooks, games, or data. The first step is to type in kunaki.com and you'll be directed to their home page. Then you click on Customer Login on the right-hand side of the page. If you're new to Kunaki, you need to create a new account to access the site by clicking on the New Publisher slash Product option on the above tab. If you already have an account, all you need to do is to log in using your email and password. When you've logged in, you can view your account details. This traces back your activities as well as your previous product creation via Kunaki. To create a new product, click on Create and Submit New Product. You'll then be directed to the Create a New Product page where you can see various options available. For now, all you need to do is to focus on the first three options on the page, specifically the Artwork Dimensions Tools. This is where you create an artwork for your CD. Click on the option here, then you are able to view a page where it enables you to design your CD disc, the front case booklet panel, the inside booklet panel, as well as the back tray card. As you can see, each design already has a default design, which is Beethoven's character for example purposes. You are able to customize your own design based on your preferences. You can also view the available fonts for your designs. There is a range of fonts to choose from. The first step is to design your disk. You may select your own image from your files to be uploaded. When you have selected your image, it will then appear on the disk. You can then adjust the image by zooming in and out or adjusting it to the left or right. There is also a reset button to start again. You are also able to customize your disk's color as well as adjusting your banner size, position and alpha. You can then proceed to insert the title for your disk. This depends on the type of content you are selling. For this tutorial, let's say you're selling an audio content on how to create an ebook. You can always change the type of font as well as adjusting the color and size to suit the theme of your content. You can then apply this to the subtitle as well as the footer of your disk design. The same steps are applied to Step 2, Step 3 as well as Step 4 of your CD case design. It's very simple to execute and takes only a short period of time. I'll demonstrate to you the steps for each section.
When you are done with all of the designs, you can now download them one by one. On the right-hand side corner of the Each section, you can see View and Download Full-Scale Image in a new window. Click on that option. When you've clicked on it, a new window will appear where a preview of your completed design is shown. Right-click on the image and Save Image As. Name your file and select where you would want to save it. Your image is now saved and ready for use. Follow the same steps for all designs. When you're done, you need to log back into your account on kunaki.com for the next step. Then, when you are directed to your account, click on Create and Submit New Product. On the next page, you'll need to select which type of audio file you're going to create. Select Audio CD that will play on all CD audio players. You may upload your audio files that are in WAV, MP3, AAC, WMV, and M4A and other formats. The next step is to ensure that you select a dual case for the type of case and select CD for the type of disc. You can then click on Upload Audio Files and Artwork to start creating your product. You are then directed to the New Product Submission page. This is where you need to upload the disc designs that you have created and saved earlier on. You'll do this step by step. The first step is to upload your front case image. This is followed by the inside case sheet and the disk image. Last but not least is your back tray image. When you've completed all of the steps, you will then need to upload your audio files. Make sure that the audio files tally with the chapters you have included in your disk design. Name the audio files according to the chapters.
The final step is to enter your product information. The bold fields are the required field for you to fill in. You can disregard the other fields if you're just starting out on producing your CD. First, select the Add a Kunaki UPC Barcode. Then add in the title and subtitle of your content. Fill in the release date of your CD and the label. When you've completed all the required steps, you need to upload your CD designs as well as audio files by clicking on the Upload button. The audio files may take some time to upload depending on the size. When the files are uploaded, you can now click Submit Product. When you have submitted the product, you will be directed to a page where it shows the status of your product. It may take a couple of minutes for the completion of your product. When your product is ready, you will be notified through the page as well as via email. Then you would need to log into your account to complete the payment process. On your page, head to your products and click configure. You'll be directed to another page where you can request to order your free review copy. This is important as you will have an idea of how your product will appear and make tweaks along the way. All you need to do is fill in your details. You also have a choice to proceed to payment straight away if you are satisfied with a product. Click on Order Your Product. A preview of your product with its details will be shown to you. Various payment options are made available for you. All you need to do is fill in your payment details. The pricing details are also made available for you depending on the quantity you are ordering. When the payment is completed, your product will be shipped to you.